Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. Welcome to another Monday Market Watch. Today we're going to be covering the Euro market as we always do, just like every goddamn Monday. So if you are interested in this kind of thing, make sure you hit subscribe before you go any further so you don't miss out in future. We've got a new setup you'll probably notice on the camera. looks a little bit better quality, so hopefully this comes out as we, well, would hope. As always with today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some meta-relevant cards as well as some requests. Uh, and we're going to probably take a look at some of the more recent packs and see how values have changed, in particular stuff like the Ghost Rar. On this side of the screen, you'll see conversion rates from euros to US dollars to Great British Pounds, so you can get an idea. They're all based off the euro price, so you can get an idea of what we're getting over here and see whether we're getting a great deal or whether we're getting absolutely fucking ripped off is, uh, well, it's a definite possibility in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! secondary market, as we all very much know. But either case, thank you very much for coming along. We're not going to waffle on too much longer. We're going to get stuck right into the Euro Market Watch for you. So let me first apologise, as always with these things. I do live in a very noisy house with an absolute dickhead dog that likes to run outside and bark loads. And usually the result of that is people chasing after him, shouting out the back, and the cycle continues. So... Fuck the dog, fuck anyone else that runs out, shouting outside. Hopefully we won't get any of that though, and we can get stuck into the market watch without too many interruptions. Although, apologies in advance if we do hear any. So starting off today's market watch, looking at Egyptian God Slime again. For those of you who aren't familiar, the standards we go for here are in a minimum of good condition, and in English. The reason we choose English is because it's the most popular of the languages available, of course, usable over... Well, pretty much everywhere that plays the TCG, and most people prefer to go for them over foreign languages. Although there are some people, the likes of Jamie the Kid, who like to play with foreign cards. So, anyway, enough waffling, let's get stuck in. So, 16.99 is the minimum. We have seen this absolutely crash down from around that 24 mark in the last few days. I do expect that this will continue to go down a little bit, but probably not too much more than it is now. The reason being, of course, that the casual fans are going to absolutely love this. It'll still be on that one print. It'll still be in a set in which it is relatively short printed as well, we assume. Uh, and as such, it will keep that price up a little bit higher than usual. Although I don't think that like i say it's going to go anywhere really from here except for down if anything next up we have ancient champ one that's actually gone up slightly before coming back down overall the price is up very very slightly the price trends around 11 euros and 46 of course 12 euros on a 30 day price average that's so maybe bringing that up very slightly in actual fact you can get them from around 8 euros and 50 and then to between the 10 and 12 euro mark is pretty much the standard that you're looking for uh, again not a particularly useful card so it wouldn't surprise me if this does come down although big Given the fact that it's an ultra, it'll probably hold a little bit more value. And next, we're looking at the absolutely crazy ghost rare printing of Winged Dragon of Ra. I don't actually know how short these are, of course. Being a ghost, you would assume quite high. And the fact that it's a fan favorite, a classic card, an Egyptian god, you expect that these will hold some good value in the future. The question is, if you pull one now, do you stick or twist? Well, if you can hold on for a very long time, then they're worth holding on to. If you're looking to sell in a relatively short amount of time, then probably you want to get rid of them as soon as possible because the value is likely to come down before it returns to going back up. We are seeing them at around 250 euros mark lots and lots of factory defect ones coming out so if you do pull one that is in mint condition you are in absolute fucking luck beyond all belief because currently good condition to near mint is about as good as they get again around that 250 mark if you're looking for something in like super super minty you can around a 300 mark of course people chancing it listed much much higher down this bottom end but again around a 300 mark is what you're looking for for something in near mint with very little to minimal damage going on and then the ultra rare counterpart, the Winged Dragon of Ra, the alternate art one. This is actually super, super nice looking. Uh, again, it's just a shame that it's obviously in such a low rarity. People will still pick this up, but it's not super playable. So again, don't expect it to hold too high. On the plus side, though, if you've seen the playmat that's out there, uh, I, I didn't pull it up, unfortunately. I've seen it doing the rounds on Facebook. It is legitimate. Uh, that is super nice. So if you can get hold of that, you're, uh, you're in luck. Next up, I wanted to take a look at some of the fallout from the absolutely crazy OTS 14 leaks. They have handed us exactly what we needed. A lot, a lot of people are going to be so fucking happy about these reprints. A pointer of the Red Lotus, one that has been insanely high and super meta relevant over the last few, uh, well, probably well over the last year, I would say. And now they're all the way down. 
only a week ago, not even, we were looking at around that sort of 10 euro mark a piece, and now they're all the way down to around 3 euros and 50 or 4 euros in something like near mint. Uh, again, absolutely tanked through the floor. People are going to be bumping up into those hollow rarities. It wouldn't surprise me if you see the original printing of this. Keep a little bit of value because people want the original printing, but the fact that it will have been reprinted will be what kills off the value for the most part. And much like that smoke grenade of the thief, look at how this is tanked. The 30-day price average is 16 euros. We're now seeing it for 7 euros a piece. Of course, most of these still just in good condition. Something in near mint or, you know, very good condition. We're looking at a minimum of 12 euros still. But again, don't be surprised if these continue in a bit of a rush to the bottom where people want to pick up this new foil printing that is going to cost absolutely nothing. Of course, supply and demand basics. If you've got a lot of supply with these new supers, which you will, then the demand goes down for the originals, and so does the price. So let's go have a look at the other version. Again here, we're looking at a similar price on the price trend. €7 Euros a pop is the minimum you're going to get one for, uh, and then the rest are all between 10 and 15 it looks. Again, expect this to come down over the next few weeks, especially once OTS 14 drops. And next, of course, we've seen Ulti Nibiru getting printed. So, what's going to happen to the original one? Well, actually, it's held pretty good value, I think. It's still around the 10 euro mark. Of course, a lot of people are going to be locked out of the Ulti. You've got to remember this. Although, it's getting a reprint in a higher rarity. For most players, this is still going to be the one that they have access to. And as a result, it's still going to command a pretty decent price. It's not like we're looking at a lower rarity reprint, like a super reprint. We're looking at an Ulti. That is like premier level... Uh, rarities that we're looking at there, the high-end rarities, uh, and a secret rare that's the only other printing that's available currently will still continue to hold some value. I do think overall it is probably going to settle around here. I don't see it going down too much more. There is still a high demand for this card at the moment. Of course, it's played in most decks, a lot of them maining it, and plenty siding as well with the amount of combo decks, and as such, of course, it's still commanding a pretty reasonable price point. Next, I'll be looking at Toon Kingdom. Rest in peace if you have the secrets here. I mean, I say the prices of tank, they're still a pretty respectable 25 euros, but, you know, you go back a little bit further. In the last few months, they were as high as 61 euros, then 48 at another peak, and then, of course, we started to see it come down. The price trend overall is around the 20 euro mark. They are a minimum of 25 at the moment. However, the price average before that was 7 euros higher than it is now. Again, expect these to come down a little bit more where people want to bump up into those ulties. Two Toons are kind of one of those weird decks, a little bit like Crystal Beasts, in that, that for some reason the high rarity stuff is just insanely expensive for a fucking trash deck. But of course, it's all about that flex, even if it's with a terrible deck. Uh, and Toon Kingdom is a perfect example of that. Normally a very expensive card, and of course, we're getting... Even though the fact that this has had loads of reprints, I might add, like, it's had plenty of reprints, it shouldn't be this high. But the ulti coming out is, of course, going to push this down because it is no longer the best rarity that is available. Plague Spreader Zombie Ultis. Okay, so for something in good, you're looking at a minimum of 18 euros. The price trend is 44 euros. The 30 day is 26. So they have come down quite significantly. It is worth noting that these are all in good condition and not first edition. So if we want to go down a little bit further, if you want a first, still 200 euros for something in good condition. If you want something in near mint, 350 euros. On the other hand, if you're not some kind of cuck who demands the first edition i understand yes yes they hold long-term value and all that this card at some point soon is going to be irrelevant again and this price will absolutely tank if you have these in first edition near mint for the love of god sell up before it's too late these are i mean get yourself a fairly respectable 40 euro one in near mint that's unlimited and do yourself a favor honestly don't buy into the first edition to these and if you have the first editions and someone wants it of you for the love of fuck get rid of it before it's too late Next up, Appaloosa, the ultra rare reprint. Again, still a really respectable 11 euros. Uh, the price trend is around that 12 euro mark. So it's come down very marginally, but I th think overall it will probably still sit around here. It's worth noting that although we have got another reprint coming up uh, next month, I believe, in Maximum Gold, this is still very important between now and then. The only thing that's probably keeping it even as low as it is currently, of course, is that there's no real competitive events, only locals. I think this would be a few euros more. Uh, again, I'm neither here nor there on whether you should be buying or selling these. If you do want the card, it's definitely not going to do you any harm at this kind of value. The gold one probably isn't going to be much cheaper and probably isn't going to bring this down too much. To be quite honest with you, though, if you're going to spend the money, you might as well go ahead and get yourself the secrets.
Speaking of secrets, we're looking at Barlow Savage, the secret reprint, and again, still a really respectable 11 euros. They have come down very slightly, about a euro or so on average. But again, considering this was so insanely high before the reprint, still that issue, of course, of just the one printing, it wouldn't surprise me if you've seen an ulti print of this come along soon. Uh, and I'm quite surprised with the fact that we haven't seen it already. But again, the secret rare copies, 11 euros a pop, still absolutely perfect. Nobody really wants the ultras anymore. Everyone wants the secrets. Uh, and that's why we see them around that 11 euro mark. Again, absolutely fine. I still think a really good value for money. Uh, Jacob there, I wonder who that is. Uh, 11 euros a pop on the Borrowload Savage. Pot of Extravagance, one that has actually come down quite a bit, about €4 Euros or so over the last uh, few weeks, I would say. We're looking around at €23, €24 Euro mark over the last 30 days. It's now down to around 19 to 20 So again, it's still a really, really good price for this. Um, again, it's had multiple prints now, so it is starting to drop off. And of course, not many meta-relevant decks are playing this, so that is pushing the price down. In fact, if you are looking to pick one up and you want the secrets and you don't want to pay out for the full versions, then these are really, really respectable pickup. And again, we're probably not going to see a secret reprint for a little while. They'll probably still continue to hold a bit of value, as these things always do, and they're going to be super relevant in the coming formats, at least at some point. Red Eyes, Dark Dragoon, tanking on the way down. Why is this happening? It's actually very hard to say. Of course, the best decks in the format are combo decks, which don't play it at all. And if you're looking at stuff like uh, Invoke Ligma, like I play, I'm actually thinking of cutting this card. Like, honestly, you, you just don't need it. But that's a philosophical debate for another time, which I will cover in another video. €31 Euros, though, is still a pretty respectable price. Of course, you've got these, you're still getting good value out of them, particularly versus the cost of... Of a tin. The overall price trend again coming down. The 30 day price average is 38 euros. So these are coming on the way down. How much more do I think they do they'll drop? Maybe towards that 25 mark. I don't see them going much lower because we won't have a reprint for a while. And of course, all it takes is one deck that can, <laughs> can consistently kick this motherfucker out, and then the price will begin to scoop up a little bit. And his partner in time, partner in time. What the fuck is going on with me? Partner in crime, Predaplant Vert, Anaconda. 21 euros. I did tell people for months, and I will bleat on about this every single market watch until you understand that this was going to go up, and that's exactly what's happened. Now it is gradually coming back down. However, it's worth noting that a lot more people are playing cards that are relevant to hit with this, such as Super Poly and the like, uh, which will keep the price up a little bit. And of course, as long as Dragoon is around, this will continue to hold a good amount of value. Again, no reprint on the horizon that we're aware of, so the price is going to stay about where it is. Again, a card that I expect is going to ebb and flow format to format as to whether it's useful or whether it's not, see the likes of Droll, Phantasme, that kind of thing. Again, expect it to sit there, potentially go up, potentially go down based on a format, but overall, we're probably going to see it swinging around this mark. Speaking of degenerate bullshit cards, Christian Halka, Fibrax, and next up is Lincross, of course, the natural partner again. 19 euros and 50 overall. These have come down very, very slightly. Uh, I don't really see that as much in the way of a trend. They are going to sit around this mark until the ban list approaches, where people get panicked. Honestly, I don't see this getting hit until competitive play resumes completely, uh, because they're not going to want to hurt anything that's out of... You know, the packs that people have just been buying, the people haven't had a chance to play on any real competitive level. So again, I think that these will be absolutely fine for the time being. And that's why we're seeing this price stick around this 20 euro mark. Link cross over time, gradually just going up and up and up and up and up. The price trend is around that 30 euro mark. However... The 30-day average price is only 20 euros, so actually might not be a bad time to pick one up. In fact, there's only one left at under 25, one at 25, and then the rest are up towards that 30 euro mark. Don't be surprised if we see these disappear, probably by the time you've even seen this video, and then we'll be looking solidly towards that 30 euro mark. Ulti Droll and Lockbird, 67 euros at a minimum, closer to 70 across the board. This card has seen an increase in play in recent weeks, particularly at my locals I've noticed this, but across the board I'm starting to see more and more people playing this. Uh, it's a natural way of beating quite a few decks uh, at the moment that are doing the rounds, and again it's one of those cards that falls in and out of formats. So this of course will probably scoop up a little bit and then drop off again when it's no longer relevant. 67 euros though, the minimum you're going to get one for, and closer to 70 across the board. Of course, if you want a more budget-friendly one that isn't the Ultra, we have the OTS Super here. Uh, these are around €3.80, Euros €4 Euros mostly across the board. The price trend is around that €6 Euro mark. We have seen a slight increase overall. So again, these could continue to head up where people want uh, what would con be considered to be a better rarity, even if it's not the highest rarity per se, other than the ulti. So again, expect these to start to get picked up because these will be the ones that people default to when they can't get hold of ultis. 
And now we're on to a couple of requests here. We had Sky Striker Ace Rose requested. Uh, overall, this has, well, it's down on its price trend, that's for sure. They're still around 13 to 14 euros a pop, which actually is a little bit higher than I expected. I expected them to be under the 10 mark, but again, around here. The price trend on, on the whole, 16 euros, 18 euros for the entire price trend, 16 for the uh, for the month, and around 13 euros. There's only one left at that price, and then the rest are 15 euros and above. Or, of course, if you're a beast who's into your Starlight Rares, a minimum of €300 Euros across the board, uh, and then 350 and above. Of course, you've got lots of people listing them at much higher prices, just chanting it on the off chance, I guess, that the others disappear. Uh, overall, the price trend is down very, very slightly. The 30-day price average, though, is €50 Euros less than this, so the price is heading in the right direction. If you're someone who's already got these, and if you're someone who's looking to buy, I have some bad news for you. And the last request comes from a tugger. Rob asked us to look at Kuraz the Light Monarch in Ulti. He loves his monarchs. Unfortunately, the deck is still shit, regardless of with three pantheisms, but there you go. Around the 30 euro mark across the board. Um, yeah, it's not too bad, to be fair. Probably a little lower than I expected, being one of them old school cards and all of that goodness. Although it has had quite a few prints, so maybe that's why. It is ulti, though, so of course people need him in those ulti binders, but there you go. 30 euros across the board. The price trend sits around there as well. It isn't really going anywhere. It's not going up. It's not going down. So if you've got one, you might as well just sit on it. And that is all for today's Market Watch. Hopefully you've really enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, you should definitely hit subscribe before you go any further. The fact that you've made it this far, though, is a good start. And hopefully that means you've enjoyed the content. This isn't the only kind of thing we do. However, we do drop these every single Monday without fail. And we do all kinds of other good stuff as well. We do deck profiles, combo tutorials, how to play videos, all the good stuff that YouTube is supposed to do. And we do very, very little clickbait. So you don't have to worry about that nonsense. What you see is what you get. Thank you very much in either case for coming along. Hope you have really enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next one. This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description.